Well, I can't call it the first start of the year for my Cat 22 because I started about five minutes ago. It started right up. And I had to go get a pipe wrench to, you know, I shut it off again right away. I had oil and check the water. I guess I have a big enough pipe wrench here, but it's the first one I found. Because it doesn't have the original water cap, it wrote something on the top of the tank. It has a bung from a oil barrel in it, and I need this to get it loose when it's that thrust and tight board with. Well, I'm going to try starting it again. Boy, oh, I'm going to pass it. That should do it. Now let's see if she starts. It started faster the first time. the best. I've just never been able to seem to get the carburetor to work just right. has two brake pedals on the right and a automotive style foot clutch on the back. And, inevitable, and I guess from research I've done, the U.S. Forest Service used a lot of these and that's the way they wanted them. So I guess that's the way Cat built them. I don't know if this one would have came from that. But inevitably, first time I hop on it every year when I want to make a left hand turn, I'll pull on the left clutch lever and I'll step on the clutch and stop instead of turning on the left brake which is on the left side of the right side if you if that makes sense because it's just instinct on all the other cats left brake on left right brake on right so I'm going to try hooking it up to my tumble bug I got on that auction 
I haven't used it. I'll see how see how that works. As I say, I've never used this tumble bug. Uh, that's liver for tripping it and rolling the, the scraper bucket. And this hitch is somehow set up so it can be tripped to raise and lower. I'm sure that's to change the attack for how aggressive it gets digging or maybe less attack for moving. But we're going to see how it goes. Well, you saw it work a little. 
I think it's very clever design this hitch. When it's empty, you pull this and and it will drop to increase the cutting angle of the dig. And it, it, it and uh, when it gets full, you can trip it. And I think it's because uh, the way the bottom of the bucket sits on the ground, then there's weight to the rear, and when it's full and you trip it, if you saw in the video, you could see it lifted back up to reduce the cutting angle so that you can uh, move the dirt to another area without it digging. I think it needs a little more adjusting. I think it's just a little too aggressive digging, but you can see there's adjustment there. There's adjustments there, different holes to mount that. And there's different holes in the side to bolt the catches for how much the bucket is rotated for digging. So I'm actually quite impressed with it. Uh, they knew what they were doing when they built these things years ago. How to take advantage of the technology they had. A pretty nice little scraper for the $15 I invested in it at that auction. So thanks once again for watching.